welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod, and we are going to be playing with a custom character this time. Um, we are going to be playing in House Blackwood. Um, we have made a, the old, or uh, the one that starts off as the Lord of Black, uh, Blackwood and the High Lordship of Blackwood is Alan Blackwood, but we've made a new guy, and his name is, uh, Lucas Blackwood. Now, Alan, we put as being our father, and our father is nothing special. So, I think when his uh, dad died, and he took over the reins in, let's see, eight, three years ago. So, his son, being us, uh, went, and he's very adventurous. So, he went off to um, go try his hand at the uh, one of the many sellsword companies in Essos, because he's... Uh, He's a, a great warrior, formidable fighter. So he goes over there, you know, figuring there's no way he's going to be a uh, lord anytime soon. He was only, you know, went over there at the age of 15, tried to press his luck in the, in, in the cell sword companies. And his dad, the all the, well, all the Blackwoods being uh, old god followers, his dad has always had a little bit of a gripe, the Blackwoods as a whole, for being kicked out of the north. This is a story we're coming up with, anyways. It's not real, so don't think like, oh, that didn't happen. But, uh, so, our son, being gifted with green dreams, has seen in his future that Blackwoods would take back their ancestral home in the north and be back with their old god followers and kind of try to stick it to the Starks who kicked them out of the north ages ago. So, we're going to put it as the Hornwoods uh, area, would be um, the Blackwoods ancestral home. We'll just say that, okay? So we're gonna try, our, our main objective in this uh, series is gonna be to try to get back to the north. Um, I don't know, maybe we can eventually take over as Lord Paramount, but we just really want our, our lordship in the north back and our high lordship that was uh, unrightfully taken from us by the Starks. So, but as we start, we are a 17 year old lord like I said, we're, we're known for our martial prowess. That's why at the age of 15, he went over to the Sellsword Companies and um, the Second Sons and went around fighting in, for contract for these other uh, merchant lords of Essos. So his dad, seeing what a great warrior he's become and all around, you know, decent Blackwood, said that, you know what, I'm going to abdicate the lordship of Blackwood to my more than able son. My uh, oldest son here. We also have two younger brothers, but he's, like I said, very good marshal. He's decent steward in diplomacy and very smart. So he has got decent traits. He's quick. He's a formidable fighter. We made him a skilled commander. Uh, he's brave, of course, to go over to Essos at that age. Um, and he's very patient because the Blackwoods as a whole have been waiting. And he's very much been... Uh, the idea or the ideology of them, you know, wanting to go back with their own people religious wise religion wise and uh give back the land that they were ta that was taken from them. So they're not gonna really like the Starks, but they do wanna be in the north, that's where they belong, they're old god followers and he has I, I it can it's a crow, not a raven, but I thought it'd be, you know, kinda fitting to give him a little like peck We'll raven, but we'll, it's a crow. We'll call it a raven that that follows him around. Um, I always liked in the story the the book. Uh, one of the black ones, I think it is a Lucas Black one. I'm not sure that has uh, a cloak that's made out of all raven feathers. I thought that was like the coolest. Like I always, uh, black ones have always been one of my like favorite houses in Game of Thrones. Um, so yeah, we're gonna coming into our new lordship, but we've come at the time we are at the Faith Militant Uprising. So, King Magor the Cruel is the king on the throne. Now, there's going to be a different series. We're not trying to go for conquest. We're not going to, you know, try to become king or anything. We're just going to try to eventually move our way back into our old uh, lordship, which we'll say is Hornwood. And... We'll kind of, I guess we could, you know, since it's Hornwood, you know, probably Blackwood. But since there's a Blackwood already here, you know, maybe we'll, we might name it something else. This is actually Blackwood Vale, so I guess we could just call it Blackwood. But 
if we do get that, I think maybe we will make that our primary uh, holding and maybe just one of our relatives down here and uh, eventually maybe try to take the north from the Starks who we have contempt because of them taking our family out of the north. So, like I said, we started in Faith Militant Uprising, so the High Septon has a shitload of men. <laughs> is They're all event spawned, so they won't um, reinforce. So he's got almost 37,000. Um, Magor, I don't think, has nowhere close to that. He's uh, not even got 12. His wife's got a big helmet on. <laughs> I guess, because, yeah, she's a good commander, I guess. Um, so if we look at here, he has... The Tullys actually have backed him. So, and we're in the river, Riverlands, and so has the North. Now, this probably would be something that we would get behind for Magor. Not that we like Magor, it's just that we are old god followers, and we're very much like Fuck the Seven. Uh, so... We are going to go ahead and um, back our legion this. Um, like, we have no, no contempt against the Tallies at all. I mean, he doesn't like us. Well, we have different religions. And even though uh, Lucas is a, is a very good attribute, he is ruthless. And he's willing to do what he has to do to further his objective. So, keep that in mind. We are going to try to roleplay the hell out of this. And like I said, he was... Since a, a young kid has been uh, gifted with green dreams. Now, other people don't think it's much of a gift, so you have a general negative opinion of Bob. So, but he's seen in his future that the Blackwoods would be back in the north. If it happens during his lifetime or after is a whole nother thing. But he has seen in his dreams that they will be back in the north. So, we also have a Valerian Steel Sword that Lucas got while over serving in the... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the sellsword companies in Essos, um, in one of their battles, uh, fighting with Mir, they, um, fighting with Mir against Tyros and Lys, ended up, um, taking a Valyria Steel Sword from one of the people he killed in a duel. So, and he's had it refitted and reforged. So, it's a Valyria Steel Sword, and it has a, uh, Raven's Head Pommel on the end. Which we'll see in a couple days goes by. I had to do the Valerian Steel Customizer thing. So, our focus, I think, right now, um, I guess it'd be war. Just because that's what's going on right now. And we're martial um, oriented. So, we'll go with that. Our ambition, I think, right now, would be to get married. We do need to get married. We do need to have sons. So, we're going to put that. Let's check out our little brothers. We have a, a nine year old, Andrew Blackwood, and then we have Theon Blackwood. So, we'll go ahead and put those at duty. Um, hey, we're going to try to groom them to, to be the best they can be, just in case something happens to Lucas. We also have a 15 year old sister named Sorel. We'll go ahead and give her, uh, I guess, diplomacy. Give her a uh, guardian because she's about to turn 16 here in about a year. Uh, we also have a kinsman of another Lucas. Uh, he's 52. Then we have a, another kinsman of Bethany Blackwood. Uh, let's see. Who's the best diplomacy here? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's actually uh, a couple muds that are in our, our court. So, um, I'm trying to see who, there's not really anybody good we can give her. We'll just get, uh, Jerge and Mud here to be her guardian. Um, we don't need a guardian, of course. Uh, let's go check out our council. We have Extellan, this guy is actually pretty good. We need a justice here. Uh, Master at Arms, he kind of sucks. Um, but I guess we'll keep him there for now. Um, whoops. This guy is not a good steward. But he is powerful vassal right now. We don't want anybody hating us. But in in the uh, in a little bit later, we'll end up changing him out because I want to be able to get as much tax money as possible because we don't really make a lot of money with our holdings. We have to look. Uh, yeah, like seven point four and six point three. Um, this is Spy Master. He is in bed, so I guess we'll keep him. Uh, we do need a maester, which we already have, it seems. He's not that good, but I don't think we have much of a choice. Alright, and then we have a a priest who is a old god priest, of course, since we are old gods. So, I'm kind of trying to uh, proselytize our area. I think our area is already... It's Faith of the Seven. So, we're going to try to have him at least proselytize our little area. 
Let's see, I'll put him here. All right, and we also have this as one of our vassals in this one. So we have uh, the Shawnees, and we have Bigglestone. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else we have? then we have our people that are just under us. We have Master of Margrave, Master of Honey Tree, and our priest, Priest of Raven Tree Hall, Pate. So we're not starting off as any king or anything like that. So there's a lot of room to, to wiggle with here. Um, we need to get married probably get one that has better stewardship so that way we can hold more uh holdings in the future i do since he is a holy warrior i was going to make him zealous but zealous just gives you a lot of problems being in a majority faith of the seven area everybody's going to hate you minus 25 from the jump so i think we would hate everybody but that's not the big deal the big deal is being they not liking us so i'm trying to find somebody that has decent stewardship that's old gods there's a 21-year-old Aura Slate. Um, we actually do want to get a uh, decent non-aggression, too, which would be nice. She's too old. Um, let's see, too old. She's 18, a stout. She has a brilliant steward. It's only 9. She's actually a mystic. She's zealous, so I guess we would probably like her. Let's check out uh, the stouts and spear mouth, which is right around here somewhere where the hell is spear mouth at I know it's there somewhere there alright um he has a thousand and some change I mean it's not a big deal right now to have the uh to have a, like a real great uh, non-aggression I would like one that's actually decent let's look at the ones they give us that are higher up first um they're too old. Let's keep going. Um, she's actually up there with the ones that are the higher ranked. Like, we could go Faith of the Seven like that and get Lady of the Veil. Vale, but it's I, I just don't see him going with the Faith of the Seven. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with this Sarah Stout. Let's just look one more down. Yeah, Slate Girl is better at stewardship, but... Let's see, uh, they are, I think, up here, right here. Um, he has no men, so we'll go with the, uh, the stout girl. Okay, where's she at, right here. She's actually a priest? <laughs> That's fine. We will go ahead and go with her. So we need to start having some, some kids here. So I'll go ahead and, uh, we still need to adjust here, that's right, shit. Um, I guess we'll just put Joji in mud. Uh, we'll have him oversee the realm. We have to have you getting tax money. Mm, everybody else is cool, it seems. Now, I think we will, now if we go for a claim on this land up here, he's going to end up fighting us. He's a lot of men. I mean, maybe we will wait a little bit just to see how things go. Now, anything could happen. The North could go into a civil war, or if anything, that'd be the time, the best time to try to do it. But we might uh, try to get him to do it now. We'll, we'll think about it in the next couple days. All right, regent wise, I think. Now, this guy's ambitious and deceitful, so we're not going to use him. He's deceitful. Hmm. He's just at a crave it. Maybe, you know what, we'll get our, our dad. Because her dad is the whole reason we are, uh... Oh, he's ambitious, too. He likes us a lot, but... I don't know, I don't trust ambition in this game. Usually when they're ambitious, they end up screwing you somehow. Um, I gotta get, uh, Jojen... Jojen Mud. Uh, all these other ones we don't have to worry about. We will get a cupbearer, though. Let's see, somebody that likes us, that we like. I guess we get our priest. All right. And our commanders aren't the best, but we don't really have much of a uh, choice. We can bring some people in, which I might do. But we'll go ahead and um, unpause the game. That way we can um, get things rolling here. Let's check out any things we need to do. Um... I'm not going to reforge the sword because I didn't just change the name of it. 
if I wanted to name it what I want it to be. So, oh uh, yeah, auto stop plots. Forgot. All right, everything seems cool. Let's see how many men we have. We have a decent amount of men for being a you know minor high lordship. Uh, we need to get these guys to like us a little more. Why does he not like us? He's envious. Of course, their religious difference is going to get us minus 10 from the jump. Our short reign, too, is minus 9. And they didn't have a good opinion of our predecessor. Our green dreams are going to get us minus 5. And so is the rueful, ruthless and having a crow. So, yeah, I guess. Um, let's see here. I think we're going to go ahead and um, on pause now while we're looking for something. Lord Peter Hartree died without leaving any blood relative. What? Uh, that was just that, what you call it, that uh, thing for the Valerian Steel. Uh, Valerian Steel sword should be named Ravenclaw. And it says Valerian Steel sword changes. Hmm? Name to Ravenclaw description changes. Well, okay. Let's see if it uh, changed the description like it was supposed to. Yeah. Huh? I don't know why the description didn't change. Uh, you may also change the description or if I didn't put in text in the title of objection. I did do that. Oh well. I can always do it later. It ain't a big deal. So, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and unpause and our marriage come through. Lord Roland Cox died without blood relative yet. Alright. Let's go ahead and back here while the uh, marriage thing is going through. We need to find us a good commander. Mm, just somebody we can get real quick. We don't want to pay for. Not really trying to waste money right now. We have an old gods hill clansman. Maybe we'll take him. Try to keep old god people around him. He doesn't really trust the faith. Uh, let's see. Torgan. This guy is 100 years old. There we go. That, that'll do for now. I'll get that guy. Alright. <clears throat> so we got our, our wedding now. We fulfilled our ambition. We can go ahead and pick another one. Um... I think having a son would probably be one of the biggest things we need to worry about. We don't want to become a higher lord. We just want our main lordship. We could try to be on the uh, council. Uh, Marshal, master at arms. Let's see who our uh, liege has as his master at arms. He has the viper guy, which is not all that great. But he didn't really like us that much. So... Let's see, where's my god? Uh, we don't really like him either. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and uh, do the sun. Boom. All right, everyone's concerns. So yeah, we need we need to get some money just to stack up. Cause we're gonna need it, man. If we end up pushing that claim. Oh, I guess he all. Uh, he wants me to be justice here. That's fine. We'll do that. All right, my lord. Theon has sent the customary amount in gold, silver, and a bride's dowry. Now the ceremony can take place. Nice. I I didn't expect that much. They're not really like they're not a high lord or anything. Usually they get like five or ten, but that's good. Um, let's see. Can we get a alliance with him? Not yet. We could eventually. Uh, I think that's what we'll do with our justice here first. Try to get this get an alliance just in case we need it. Um. Improve relations with Stout. This is it, yeah. And then after we approve it, getting him on a, uh, an alliance, we'll try to fabricate this. It looks like the Barrelins are staying out of it. Um, this would be the best time, too. Like, if the Hornwoods would have stayed out of it, it would have made them, like, so-called independent. And I think then we'd have been able to uh, take his land, I think. Or at least try to go to war. All right. So we'll have to look forward to that. I think after we make that relations better, we're going to go ahead and try to fabricate the claim. To try to get it as quick as possible. Um, we are actually at Tully's court now, so we're not going to be um, 
We're not going to be leading any armies. To the formidable warrior Lucas, peace be with you. I cannot in good conscience. Wow. Was he a slave? Oh, uh, that's why. Or that That's not him. Yeah, that is him. All right. That's no biggie. Uh, we got that guy. Uh, Baron. And then Hugo can't. He's a slave, too. Shit. I always forget to look for them to be a slave. Uh, let's see. We got any other Northmen that are martial? Or old gods? Ooh, they're terrible. He's not bad. We'll get him. Alrighty. Lord Lucas, I regret to inform you that I've decided to remove you from council position. What? As you ably served in your position, I have to deem another person more suitable. Why? What the hell did you do that for? He just put me on there and it took me off. Well, that didn't last long. Um, when this guy like used a favor against. Yeah, he's more suitable. All right, a seven diplomacy. All right, we're not I mean diplomacy kind of person, but still, we're better than that guy. All right, he's a skilled fighter, both of them are, so we will use those as bodyguards. Um, we need to take these guys that suck balls off. Put him there. Um, yeah, take him. We're still waiting on the other person. I think, uh, where's that other guy? Lucas here is, yeah, he's decent enough. So as soon as the other guy comes, we are going to have a wedding. I'm going to cost us 40 gold, but it will make our vassal opinion go up. So we will have a wedding. I have given orders for a grand ceremony and a feast to be hosted at Blackwood Vale in honor of Lord Lucas Blackwood and Lady Sarah Stout's wedding. Let the preparations begin. So, our two vassals will come. <laughs> Alright, um. It's, it's going to be pretty slow going right now. I kind of want to do this more on the story itself. Like, our whole uh, journey and taking back our lands. Uh, blessed be upon you, except. That's good. He's nothing spectacular, but he's better than what I had. Alright, I think I can make him a, um. Bodyguard, too. Yeah, he's skilled. Alright, and then we have... Is it Jojen? Yeah, he's on the council anyway, so I don't want him commanding. He's actually a twin. I wonder... Where is his, uh... Who and where is his twin? Mm, oh, he's dead. Christopher Mudd. I thought one of these guys... There's Howlin' Mudd. He's actually in our court. We have a daughter or something. Maybe we can uh, marry. Her. Did they get a claim because of their old hair? I guess not. That would suck. If they they should get a claim on like Old Stones or uh, like the Sea Guard area because I think that's what their holding was. I know Old Stone was one of them. Um, who's this? this is Howlin', right? Yeah, he got a little kid for being fifty three. He's three years old. Oh, he's. Uh, I thought that was our uh, kinsman that he was married to. All right, let's put duty. No, we'll kind of take him under our wing when he gets old enough. We will establish household guard after we get enough money. Um, maybe we'll go on a foreign trip, too, when we return to beach. Your treasurer, Lord Thorne, has grave news. Part of the castle where the guests will be staying will have to be repaired, or else he couldn't guarantee the guest safety. It would be rather costly, but Lord Thorne assured me that repairs would be worth the cost. 20 gold, something. Well, I know what he's doing now. That's why it kicked me off because I was going to be a commander. I think we will. We will command because we are very brave and, and, and we love to fight. We're strategists, so we like to be in the mix. Look at our modifiers. are sick. Um, personal combat ability, 140. Because we're a teenager, it's minus 5, so it'll be 145. After we're not a teenager anymore. We are holy warrior though, so we get an extra thirty percent damage against religious enemies. Alright, so there are enemies and they're of a different religion, so yeah, we will definitely accept. It's gonna suck because it's gonna take us away from our wife, but it's alright. The best part of holding a wedding is organizing the whole event. Um I guess we will spend enough to make it nice. Not gonna go overboard. Most of the preparations for the wedding have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitation, so I guess we'll have uh, Bigglestone, Shawnee, our 
our lesser uh, vassals, the ones that are directly under us, and then Stout and her dad and mother, it seems. I don't see the other guy. I've seen a Janella and Danella. Is that like her sisters? There's Janella. I don't know who the other one was. Sarah, Janella, Danelle. Uh, that's her aunt. All right. The conjurer produced a rabbit from a hat, then made a handkerchief change color from brown to red, and then he simply vanished from the room, only to knock on the door and open it a few seconds later. You must perform my piece. Alright, let's see. Um, let's go put it up with more speed. It got kind of slow. Everybody was talking about the musicians, and I finally had some time off from the preparations for my feast. So I could see with my own eyes and hear with my own ears what people was talking about. Mus musicians were good, and they were looking for a patron, I guess. We're spending a lot of money on this. <laughs> it's clear there's unkept buffoons in the army of our liege. I simply can't stand some of them. <laughs> and one individual in particular is frustrating me to no end. The feeling is clearly mutual. What? So now we became bitter rivals with our liege. That's not good. At least he's 53. Probably won't last too long. We got Edmund Telly, but... Uh, he don't like us either. I guess we'll give him a gift later, or make him like us a little more. The wedding day is upon us. Soon I'll be wed to Lady Sarah in the sight of all the lords of Blackwood. Alright, so... Yeah, her dad was there. Oh, yeah, that's right. His name's Theon. I always forget... That, uh, every time I hear Theon, like, I just put it with Theon Greyjoy. Um, yeah, so, the guests have finally arrived, and all's ready, and the servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Lady Sarah's gown is splendid, and the castles never look lovelier. Uh, who are these guys? Here I stand before the heart tree of the old gods to take up a solemn vow of marriage with Sarah Stout. The great lords and ladies of Blackwood, look on as I drape the arms of House Blackwood around my bride to finally seal our marriage. Now for the feast. Yeah, I'm about to go back and try to change this description of this because I had it all uh, written out. And you do it under the uh, adjective of it instead of the title. So, but it did turn into Ravenclaw, so that's, that's not bad. Um... I wonder if you reforge it, can you put the name of it? You have to take the name that they give. I forget. The musicians played in my guest dance. I made certain I danced with several different persons, and I think we all had great fun. So we have a 25% chance that we get gregarious, 25% chance to get tra uh, charitable, and we also get entertaining entertainment for not even a year, <laughs> giving us more diplomacy and general opinion. We didn't get any of the traits, but it's okay. Uh, holding a wedding takes down the revolt risk. Let's see how our guy's doing here. Let's see what the chances are. Possible outcomes. County religion converted, 14.53. Subject religion converted. Uh, heathens attacked the Septon. Alright, that sucks. Alright, the feast is winding down. Now only the betting remains. Lucas and Sarah are stripped of all garments by the revelers who make many a baldy joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into their bedchamber where they are finally left alone. Fine tradition. Hopefully she, uh, becomes with child. Let's see how this war's going. They're actually losing. Um... Oh, somebody's in jail. Lord Paramount Huber of the Vale has taken him to prison. Um, is the Vale on their side? No, I wonder why he's in jail by the Vale. I think he's Chiltern, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, is he revolting? No, I don't know why he's arrested by him. Now, it says he's in... Oh, he's on the side of the... Uh, See, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is the uh, war for Aegon. Uh, he's in two wars. No wonder he's getting his ass kicked in the one. Magon has uh, the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, Prince Ma Aegon, Prince of Dragonstone, who was King Aene's son. So he's trying to take back the throne. They also have a bunch of dragons. He has Quicksilver, 
Um, he's also friends with uh, Lord uh, Lyman of the Vale. So he has his wife is also Princess Raina, who also has a dragon, Dreamfire. Ooh, why is he in? Uh, I guess she's in the Shivering Forest. I know she's not. Why is the dragon? I don't understand why they do that in this. Like, it says the dragon is up with damn White Walker. <laughs> Uh, whatever. The morning after the wedding feast has come and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home. All agree it was a fine celebration and many predict that the newlyweds shall be most content. So we got, uh, held a wedding until for a year. You get five vassal opinion and we gain 20 prestige. Everybody leaves the wedding. Yeah, he's getting his ass kicked by the faith. So I wonder what happens. I can't remember what happens when the, Sep the Septon wins. Does... Did they dethrone him? You and your senior commanders have gained a better understanding of military matters during the Battle of Bramford, and will be able to use this experience in future battles. So we got war knowledge for two years, giving us noble vassal and le levy, uh, max levy and levy reinforcement. That's only for two years. All right. Um, houses Blackwood and Bracken have been bitter feud against each other since the Age of Heroes, when both houses ruled as kings. The feud has continued throughout the years, aided by House Bracken's change to the faith of the Seven. As a result, our households claims the many lands across the river. Oh, I forgot about that too, yeah. We are definitely going to probably, uh, try to take back, uh, because there is a big dispute over these lands right here. Like, we are bitter rivals, and they're literally, it's like... The Hatfields and McCoys, like just a little river separating us. Um, and one always says that they had claims to their land, the other always says they have claims to the other person's land. Now, we actually have claims to Lambswold, uh, Hathway, and Mudford, which are, I think, all these are here at Lambswold, Stonehenge, Halfway, Mudford. We don't have Stonehenge because that's the friggin' sept. Well, we might try to take those. Um, let's see, who has a claim on... Nobody's claiming on Stonehenge. Alright, what about the High Lordship? Pretty sure it's these other... Oh, uh, yeah, Ryella Bracken, who is 48. I wonder if we have uh, her one uncle. Is he married or not? Because if so, we could probably... They probably... Uh, they say yes. But I don't know if we'd set that up ourselves. Cause I, like I said, we're staunch old god supporters. So, I don't think that's going to happen. But, like I said, we're just going to uh, play this, you know, very patient at the beginning. As soon as we up our uh, his opinion of us, and he wants to form an alliance, we will do so. And not, just having that alliance isn't going to mean we can just go gung-ho. We have to really play it safe because, like I said, we don't have... No men compared to what the North has. Now, if the North weakens, we get a civil war of some sort. He's really old, so he's not going to be around much longer. Uh, let's see. Lord Brennett of the North. He's nothing special, so anything's possible. Let's look see who has a claim on the Kingdom of the North. Just Mora. Um, what about Winterfell? Nobody. Uh, High Lordship, nobody. Okay. So, what we're going to need to do is get the claim on Hornwood. You know, try to take these other lands maybe first from the Brackens. Or maybe even take a claim on them. That way we can get their lands and then make us a little stronger. But we'll see. We'll, we'll kind of go as as it goes. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll pick and choose what path. But the ultimate path is going to be to get back into the north. So... If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one later.